Hey traders, Akil Stokes here and welcome back to another Forex market preview video. It is first thing Sunday morning and well, wanted to start my day by giving you a pair to put on your radar. And this week we are going to go back to the euro dollar. So this should be a short and sweet video because most of it is going to be recap. But before we get into it, just want to say thank you, right? It is Thanksgiving. So we're supposed to say what we're thankful for. And I am thankful for you guys for being very positive supporters. Uh, we've just reached the 35,000 subscriber mark here on YouTube, which was a goal for the year. That was a mark I thought I would get. And more importantly, we've been able to essentially eliminate all of the negative comments. You know, you guys know I read through each and every comment that you guys post. I tend to share some of them as well, especially on uh, Instagram, if you follow me on there. And I just love the positivity. Not only does it affect me, obviously, but um, it invites and it welcomes newer traders that are struggling and really looking for a place that they can come to without being um, made fun of or, or feeling discouraged. So keep the positivity alive. Again, keep liking, keep sharing. If you're new, subscribe. And uh, we'll keep growing uh, really this this movement that we have here on the internet. It, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, but we're going to head back to the euro dollar because things have changed. So if you haven't been a part of my videos go back and watch the last two videos i did on this pair one was last week one was maybe about four weeks before that but i'll give you guys a, a quick recap the euro dollar is in consolidation and we're going to start here in the weekly and even on a bigger perspective you can see that uh recently we've done this right we've expanded out of our contraction area right so the market has consolidated down here we've expanded out of that and we've essentially put in a bullish flag pattern right now that flag pattern has come right down into previous structure support right down here but it also ended or i guess it begun i should say at previous structure resistance so you can see we're trading between two very important levels we're, we're trading between a level where price action found support in the past and it's now acting as resistance we're trading at a level or in between a level where price action found resistance in the past and is now trading in support and that's why we've kind of been just going back and forth uh, for a while here. Now, what we've been watching for the last few months was actually a, a reversal pattern called a head and shoulders pattern here on the daily. And I thought that it would give us a selling opportunity. Price action made its way up. Again, we retraced. We basically triple topped up here, a little three-headed monster. We came back down to retest that level. That level held. We tried to re-expand uh, higher. That didn't really work. And we finally broke and closed below what was called the neckline here. And my expectation, my prediction was a retest of that shoulder level and a continuation down. Well, you can see that recently. And when I say recently, I mean uh, as of this past week, uh, this had to be the FOMC statement on uh, on Wednesday. I, I shut my trading down after Wednesday morning to enjoy the holidays. But we did have some major news coming out last week. And again, major news with uh, less liquidity in the market tend to you, you get some bigger reactions out of it. And it looks like what we have here. But the fact that we violated this right shoulder here gives me zero interest anymore in this head and shoulders short. So that opportunity is gone. And, and what I'm seeing now is just consolidation. And if you really kind of, well, if we just do this, if we pay attention, we actually formed an inverse head and shoulders as well. So you can see we had the original one here. I'll, I'll make it easy for you this way. Let's uh, get our drawing deal on here. Head and shoulders, right? We had our original head and shoulders here, left shoulder. It's going to be our neckline, our head. Boom. Right shoulder right there, right? We came off of that, and what we did was this. We actually put in a second head and shoulders where we came down. We had a left shoulder right here, a new neckline, a head lower, a retest of that neckline. I did take a shorting opportunity during the week. Did not work. Lost about 50 pips on that. We came down and put in the right shoulder, and then we violated that neckline. So you can see we have a head and shoulders pattern followed by an inverse head and shoulders pattern. And this is the definition of consolidation. So if you guys are out here and you're wondering, well, Keel, what does this mean? Are we bullish? Are we bearish? Right? And even if you're following the guidelines on how we teach you to identify the trend, you'll, you'll see that we're going from bearish rotation to bullish rotation, and it is consolidation. Now, for many traders, consolidation is a negative thing. You look at it as a, as a piece of junk. There's nothing you could do here. The charts just look sloppy, and, and that is the case uh, in many times. But for those with a keen eye, right? 
consolidation also can yield and really breed some very good trading opportunities. And this is typically where you see advanced pattern formations. I got a question the other day on Twitter uh, asking about um, asking a question about advanced patterns and and uh, basically, are, are they trend continuation type of setups? And I said, no, advanced patterns come inside consolidation. And if we look at how your typical advanced pattern forms, right, there's no real trend. It, it kind of just has sloppy movement, right? And so when you see consolidation, when you see the market not really give you a clear sign on what's going on, well, that's a perfect uh, a perfect kind of clue to be on alert for a potential advanced pattern formation. And we actually have a few of them here. The first one we're going to have is a cipher formation. And if I just take my little triangle deal out, we're going to start at our head right here. If we take our head down to our neckline of the original head and shoulders uh, pattern, that's going to be our X to A, right? Our little retracement right here is going to be our A to B. The extension down is going to be our B to C. And as we expand back up, violating the B leg, right, which was, again, that right shoulder, we're going to have a potential cipher formation sitting up right here around, I think it's about 19, 1.1976. So you can see we're really close. And this is a bearish cipher, meaning we'd, we would expect the market to continue lower or, or reverse lower off of that. Now, very important. When I say reverse, you know, it, it's different from a trend continuation trade. I'm not looking for or expecting the market to reverse and continue all the way down. In counter trend setups, we're looking for a brief move. So we're looking for a little bit of relief. Essentially, you know, when, when I when I, you know, I'm working on a course right now. Dealing with candlestick psychology and, and really how to how to look at each candle and look at each setup, not just by, hey, it's a, a red or green thing on the chart, but to really analyze and break down the story that each one's telling you. And when you get a system like this or, or a setup like this, it's really an exhaustion pattern, uh, similar to the butterfly. And if we look closely, right, I don't trade butterflies, but I'll, I'll put this in for you guys as well. There's actually a butterfly pattern in here as well. Let's make this a, a different color here. Let's make it uh, yellow. Here we go. So we actually have a butterfly pattern well as well, looking at X to A, A to B, B to C, and the C to D is going to be a little bit before that level. And one of the reasons I don't like the butterfly pattern is because the, the D leg, which is right here, completes above the X leg. And one of the reasons that the cipher pattern really bothered me when it first came out as well is because the D leg violated previous structure right here. And, and just by the rules of, of how I read a price chart, when I look at a higher, high, higher close or a violation of a, a level of structure, um, that's a sign for a continuation in that direction. However, the reason that we see price sometimes reverse is because of exhaustion, right? Price action comes to a level or breaks past the level, right? The buyers are able to pa uh, surpass a previous level of resistance. And you can think, right, well, once price action gets above this level, there's going to be some profit taking that's going to happen. Not only is there going to be profit taking by the buyers, but there's going to be new sellers that begin to get interested as well. So you have a combination of a, a really a flood of selling orders coming in. You have selling orders from the buyers that are looking to take profit before it gets too dangerous. Um, and you have uh, selling orders from the sellers that are saying, hey, this is a you know a level or a price point that I'm interested in getting short at. And we usually see some type of relief off of that. And that relief is all we're looking for for these advanced pattern formations. So we're looking for a very, very small short. We're looking to get in, get out, and then reload for the next opportunity. And that's kind of the that's the, the, the biggest difference between counter trend trading and trend continuation trading. Right. The biggest difference is trend continuation trading. You're looking for the extensions, right? You're looking for a continuation in the move, uh, a bigger move. Counter trend trader, you're looking for a small bit of relief. So the bigger trend continuation opportunity is, is done for me because that head and shoulders was violated here on the euro dollar. But we are approaching a level. We're very, very, very close to a level where I'd be interested in a shorting opportunity for a counter trend type trade. And we have two potential advanced pattern formations here. We have the butterfly and we have the cipher completing around the same level. So something to put on your radar as the markets open. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving for those who celebrated it. Um, we're going to keep this video short and sweet because if you're like me, you're still kind of in a, a, a turkey hangover. Um, but 
As always, I appreciate you guys joining me and do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that share button. If you're new, subscribe. We've got some big things coming to this channel. You don't want to miss them. Um, so just keep the love coming, keep sharing the love. And if you do, I will be back with more great videos for you. So you guys have a, a great weekend or what's left of it. And until next time, plan your trade, trade your plan. Take care, guys.